Hello Whovians and welcome to Whotube Gallifrey O2 and a brand new video. In this video I will be discussing what if Captain Jack Harkness wasn't a mortal. So the concept for this is that Captain Jack Harkness was exterminated on Satellite 5 but wasn't brought back by the Time Vortex. The Daleks were still defeated but Captain Jack's lifeless body remained on Satellite 5. Dead. So the first thing Captain Jack Harkness did was help rebuild the Earth which had been partially destroyed by the Daleks. However, this wasn't possible as Captain Jack Harkness was dead. The second thing Captain Jack Harkness did was travel back to the 1860s where his time vortex manipulator got stuck so he couldn't travel no more and he had to remain in Cardiff and become a member of the Torchwood team. Jack was a great asset to the Torchwood team. He helped save Cardiff many times and defeat many aliens. Of course, Captain Jack wouldn't be there, meaning there would be more death, but non no Earth-threatening situations. So, what would happen next? Positive, Captain Jack Harkness wouldn't travel to New York in 1925 and his blood wouldn't be stolen by the three families which caused the miracle in 2011 so the events of Miracle Day wouldn't happen meaning there wouldn't be as much death and corruption in the world in 2011. So that's a positive. But a negative is that the events of Children of Earth would still take place. So, in 1965, Captain Jack Harkness donated 12 children to the 456 in exchange for medicine to cure the world from this virus. However, Captain Jack Harkness wouldn't be there to give away these 12 children. So, there's two alternatives here. No children are given away, this virus wipes out the entirety of Earth. But the other alternative is that the government agents give these 12 children anyway to the 456. But in 2009, the 456 returns wanting more children, 10% of the children of the Earth. Now this would mean very bad news, as all 10% of those children of the Earth would die at the hands of the 456, unless the government didn't want to give these children and the whole world would die. So, not very good news for the children of the Earth, but... Another positive of Captain Jack not being immortal is that in the year 2000, a member of Torchwood killed the entirety of the Torchwood team, including himself. Captain Jack, however, survived this and rebuilt the Torchwood team, introducing members such as Owen and Yanto. And of course, Owen opened the Torchwood Rift in 2007, meaning a badden would never rise from the rift and destroy a lot of Cardiff. So that would be a positive. So what would happen next in the Hooniverse as a whole? So how would this affect the show of Doctor Who? So we go to Utopia in 2007 and the Doctor lands in Cardiff. And of course, Captain Jack Harkness did jump on the side of the TARDIS, sending it to the year 100 trillion. Of course, this wouldn't happen as Captain Jack wouldn't be there in Cardiff. So the Doctor would never travel to the year 100 trillion, meaning the Master would never be able to use the Doctor's TARDIS to get back to 2007 and become dictator of the world. So yeah, that's another positive of Captain Jack not being immortal. Of course, time was reversed, so it wouldn't matter anyway. But all those people in that alternative reality wouldn't die in the first place at the hands of the Toclophane. So, the most important part of this video is the events of the Stolen Earth and Journey's End. Torchwood was the main reason that the Doctor managed to get to Earth on time to stop Davros detonating the reality bomb. However, Captain Jack and the entirety of Torchwood wouldn't be there as Torchwood ended in the year 2000 in this reality. So, the Doctor wouldn't arrive on Earth in time and Davros would destroy the Earth and the entirety of the universe with the reality bomb and not just our universe, all the universes. So, if Captain Jack wasn't immortal, it would mean very bad news. So that is the end of this Doctor Who What If video, and until the next time, goodbye!